Let's talk about Barcelona. As we are taping, everybody, Barcelona have yet to face Cadiz. So even if you're listening on the following day and Barcelona lose, I don't even know if Coleman will be around, but we'll see. But they do need some wins. That is for sure. By the way, Ronald Koeman, midweek, just did a press statement ahead of his presser against Cadiz. Didn't even answer any questions. You read some stuff. We need your support, et cetera, et cetera. He left and that was it. The relationship between John Laporta, the president of Barcelona, and Koeman is not good. And I was talking to our friend Fabrizio Romano today, and they do have a plan, but they want a plan to have a, a manager that comes in for the full future. They don't just want to get rid of Kuman, interim manager, and then do it all over again. So Kuman is walking on thin ice, is what I'm trying to say. Jimmy Conrad, let's begin with you, because Barcelona now facing Levante, a very tricky, a very tricky matchup for Barcelona. No, 100%. I just really want to understand where Barcelona fans are coming from, because I don't feel like they're living in reality. I mean, they, they lost the greatest player to ever wear their jersey, there's going to be some fallout. They're clearly in some financial strife or, or struggling with that. And then they've got injuries. Usman Dembele's out. Sergio Aguero's out. Pedri is now out. Jordi Alba, Braithwaite, Ansu Fati. I don't know what the hell people expect. Yes, obviously, you want to bring in better players than Luke de Jong, who had a header recently, that, and that's why he's here, and he couldn't even score that one. So I just... I just don't understand. You know, I feel like the frustration is overall. Sure, you can bring in a Xavi or Eric Ten Hag from Ajax or who, whoever you think could fill. Luis Enrique Roberto maybe coming back. Seems yeah, to be Roberto Martinez. Yeah, he's the he's the, the leading favorite for the bookies. I I don't think that's solving any problems. I really don't. And he's rolling out players now, Kuman. Like play the young kids, and there's nothing wrong with that. They're still unbeaten in their last five games. So yeah, you can be pissed that it doesn't look the same as before. It was never going to look the same as before once Messi left. And I don't know how well, this at least the play other out. managers, uh, Jimmy, won't put PK up front. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what I'll say is, if if I'm going to put, uh, if I'm going to make a suggestion, I would go with Xavi. I, I mm. would bring somebody in that 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 lives and breathes and and dies with with Barcelona. He is Barcelona through and through. And I just think if you're going to start a project from the very bottom, why not him? Mm. I, I will say, by the way, that Xavi, uh, who I what what team is he he managing right now? Um, I will. Oh, he lost. Outside. Outside, Outside. Outside, right? Oh. And they had uh, 12 players on the Qatari team. And they were, ch- they literally played the Gold Cup like they were Barcelona. The yeah, way that yeah. they, 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 he did not change a thing in the way he rolls them out. They ro- they play the exact same as the national team. Most of them then play uh, at the same club, obviously playing for the Qatari national team. Uh, the manager, so- by the way, a former Barcelona coach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Of, of mm-hmm. Qatar. Yeah. Yeah. And so there, there was this, you know, you can see that he hasn't, he hasn't gone somewhere else and been like, I think I'm going to change the way that I, the game should be played. So I, I'm I'm not against that, but I will say I'm I'm with I'm with Jimmy on just the overall um, unrealistic expectations. I think it's th- there's this tension, but people are forgetting just the drama that Messi created. And blame Messi, blame the club, blame uh, economics, blame whatever. That's a huge thing to come back from. It's in the end of an era, and I think it's naive for them to not have had a, a plan, knowing that eventually, no matter what, Messi will uh, Messi will leave and to not have a plan in place seemingly whether it's now or in six months or in a year I think uh, was a lot of drama obviously he said in another interview that you know Messi kind of covered up a lot of the problems that they have because he could do things himself but they Mm -hmm. do have young players and they do have some excitement and if you're a young player in the team right now I don't think that's a huge motivator to have this kind of guy come on not even do a press conference throw you under the bus and of course these players have to deal with that kind of stress but it's not a, a, a great look. I think it's important for the fans to understand where they're at and not think you aren't the same Barcelona as before. Mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. these financial disasters that that are taking place the, 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 on the verge of bankruptcy is a serious, serious problem. Uh, not just now, but for the future, right? You can go and put a Band-Aid over it, but how are you building that for the future? I think it's an important statement. How he said it maybe isn't the best way because it seemed like it was more of a shot at the club and a shot at the fans of saying like, are you guys stupid? But uh, I do think that there is some, it's very Dutch yeah, to do that. By yeah. Way. <laughs> I mean, we had, we had the, we had the picture of him on the screen. Like, would you like uh, uh Coleman looking at you in the way that he was, if you're watching this uh, in a video format, like it doesn't look, uh, it, I mean, it's terrifying. Uh, so, well, yeah, you make I, a good point, right? It's not Kuman's fault that they're 1.5 billion in debt, but also, you know, I, I'm an, another manager wouldn't come in and put like PK up front and making it super Dutch. I mean, Ben, ch- ch- chime in here. I, I don't know. What. I mean, Barcelona are a mess, I think. You know, that, that's for damn sure. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and I don't know why Xavi, who's turned the job down before, would necessarily want it now. And I think that's what you have to find, whoever this manager is, because Ronald Koeman 
has gone about this is in a very Ronald Koeman way. You know, he does not lack for self belief, and he he would he would say, "Give me the squad, and I will make this team into Champions League winners." That might not be true, but that's how he you know that's the job he signed up for, and he it, it's pretty clear he does not want to manage the Barcelona of the future now. You need to find someone who does. You need to find someone that, that is gonna is willing to go to Bayern Munich and say, actually, I don't want to play five three two and not mm. lose heavily because it's good for my reputation. I'd like to, you know, build every game game in, game out. I want to play the Barcelona way and I want to play it with the kids. That's not Kuman. Basically, his energy is please sack me. You have to pay me a lot of money to sack me, <laughs> and I can go and manage somewhere else. Mm. I've said it before. I genuinely am starting to come around to the idea that you should give the job to Arsene Wenger because he would enjoy it. Well, but and any- he might forget about the two-year thing at World Cup as well. So yeah, please, yeah. Get him yeah. off that idea. But anyone that just wants to do that specific job of rebuilding Barcelona for the long term, that's who you need to find. And I don't know if Laporta would have the patience. Wenger's not a bad idea, actually. Wenger's a pretty good idea. Uh, Jimmy, very quick. Uh, yeah, anybody. But yeah, very quick betting tips, Jimmy Conrad. What do you see? Because Levante are tricky, as we mentioned earlier. Yeah, they are tricky. I, I would just go with the draw, to be honest. I feel like that's your best value. Levante is known for stealing points off of the top teams. And I think that's that's the way to go. It's plus 450. Um, and, and I'm kind of here for that. Now, minus 286 for Barcelona. They are at home, but uh, I just feel like there's a vulnerability in this Barcelona team, especially with all this crap going on off the field and Kuman saying all these things that that could put off the team a little bit. And without Pedri and without some of the names I mentioned who are hurt, I think Levante can come in and steal some points. So I like to draw plus 450. 